are so glad that you joined us in the kitchen today. And of course, you see I have my little helpers. And this is? Joshua McQueen. And? Tanaya McQueen. Yes. So today's edition is our kids in the kitchen. And we have something awesome for you today. We'll be making something that your kids would like. But before I do that, the long-awaited cookbook is finally here. Eat for Optimal Health, Simple Plant-Based Recipes. You can obtain your copy from www.uzimalifestylecenter.org. You can go there and place your order. Now for today, we are making vegan macaroni and cheese with butternut squash. Now you know sometimes kids don't like a lot of vegetables. In this um, video, we have talked about the importance of various vegetables, right? And so today, we are going to add to this macaroni and cheese two very important vegetables that your kids should like. When it's all blended up in there, they would like it. So as you know, my custom is I usually would tell you the ingredients, and then we'll talk about some of the benefits of what is in the recipe. So let's go. All right. So for this, you need an eight ounce box of whole grain macaroni, eight ounce box, right? And you just will cook it according to the direction. And the direction here says you should put it, put your pot of water to the boil, add a little bit of salt, and then you cook it for like 15, 15, 20 minutes, right? Until it's soft. In the interest of time, we've already done it. So we have our elbow macaroni here. It's ready to go. Okay. Josh, can you stir it up a little bit for me? Okay, thank you very much. So this is our elbow macaroni. In addition to that, we have our broccoli florets, right? You cut them in little pieces and you can steam it. And in addition to that, we are, because we are cooking oil free, we are not going to do the avocado oil, but if you would like to, you can use a little bit of olive oil or avocado oil. In addition to that, we have the butternut squash, and this is very important. You see the bright color, so you know it's filled with antioxidants. In, so we have the butternut squash all ready to go. Then we have our chopped onion. Here is our chopped onion. And instead of using the yellow onion, we're using the red onion because it has a lot more vitamins than the regular onion. Now, we also have one peeled rosette potato, one cup, and we grated that so that it's ready to go. We have our garlic ready here, our garlic. In addition to that, we have our onion powder. This is our onion powder here. Then we have our, instead of the mustard powder, we are using a small bit of mustard because we do not have the mustard powder. Then we have our salt. We are not including pepper flakes. Instead, we are using fresh sweet peppers, right? And then here we have our nutritional yeast. It's ready to go. And we have our organic mushroom soup. And in addition to that, we are also going to add some celery soup. The recipe doesn't call for the celery soup, but we want to make it nice and healthy and in a way that the kids would really enjoy it. Okay, so we have our potato here ready. And so we are going to just pause a little moment and I'm going to go on the other side. Josh will accompany me. We have our water in the saucepan. We're going to turn the fire up and then we're going to place this in. Bring one of the spoons, Josh, with you. And then we are going to let this cook for a little bit. Okay, one spoon is all you need. So as you can see, we have our saucepan on the fire and we have a small amount of water in the saucepan, right? Not a lot. And as soon as this comes to the boil, then we are going to place our onions in there. Come a little closer, Josh. Wait until it starts boiling up a little bit. When you see it boiling a little bit, then you're going to put your onions in there, okay? Now 
Now that the onions are cooked, they look nice and translucent, you're going to put the potato in. Josh, you put the potato in. Go closer. You want me to hold that for you? Yeah. Good. Now stir it around. We're going to put this on low. Stir it around. Stir it around really nice. I'm going to put a little tip of mustard in here. And then you're going to keep on stirring. Keep on stirring. One of the things you could do you can either steam the broccoli ahead of time or when you're cooking the potato up, you can put the broccoli in there. But I'm choosing I steam the broccoli ahead of time. So let's talk a little bit about the benefits of broccoli. Broccoli is full of antioxidants. It helps to prevent things like cancer. It helps you look young for a long time, like my two lovely grandchildren, the way they are nice and young here. And it helps to detoxify the body, get rid of all the toxins in there. It helps you cure things like stomach problems, stomach disorders. It also helps to increase your immunity. So it also keeps you, your bones are strong. It helps you with healthy hair. It helps your cholesterol level, keeps it low. And it also reduces problems with the heart. And for women who are pregnant, this is a very good food to incorporate. That's your broccoli. Moving right along, we're also including the butternut squash. So we're going to talk about some of the benefits of the butternut squash. Okay, so the butternut squash, as you look at the color, what color is this, Kanaya? Orange. Orange. So when you see things like orange color, reds, and so forth, you think right away of antioxidants. It is what I call superfoods, right? They fight against diseases and so forth that comes to your body. They help with weight management. It helps to support your blood vessels. It helps to lower your blood sugar. It helps to lower things like your risk for asthma. It aids in your digestion, so it helps your food to be properly digested, as can be expected because it's full of antioxidant. It also builds your immune system. It supports healthy blood pressure, and so this is very, very good to incorporate in your meal because it is very, very good nutritionally for your body. The health benefits of almonds. Remember, we are making the almond cheese to go in the macaroni. So almonds are good for your skin, good skin health. It also lowers your cholesterol. It prevents cancer or protects against cancer. It is anti-inflammatory. It has a lot of properties that help your body to rid itself of inflammation. It boosts your immune system. It is very good for modulating your blood sugar and your blood pressure. It is good for your heart health. It improves your brain function. And very important, it is good for women during pregnancy. Almond is also good for your bone and your teeth. Okay, so let's move along. Let's talk about the nutritional yeast. That is what's going to give the macaroni and cheese its nice cheesy flavor. And some of the benefits are it's rich in what promotes your skin health. It is also good to boost your immune system. It is a great source of B12. You know, folks that are vegan, we always have to ensure that our B12 is up to standard. So this would help us with our B12. It is also um, very good for fiber. Fiber helps eliminate stuff from your body, so it's very good for that. And it's also a very good source of folic acid. So these are some of the benefits of the nutritional yeast. So what we're going to do here now, we are going to, we have our almond. You can either leave it with the skins or you can take off the skins. I like to leave it with the skin because that has a lot of fiber. We are going to put it into our blender here. Careful. Take it off. Pour it in. And 
and then we're going to blend this. We blend it with a little bit of water. are making there is our cashew cheese so we are going to add a little bit of lemon juice can you pour the lemon juice in Josh good and then Tanaya you come and you put a little tip of salt in there put a little bit of salt and then we're going to continue blending put the salt in good pour it in just a little pinch of salt very good This is good and ready to go. Now, I need to point out something to you. You can either use the nutritional yeast, you can either put it in the potato, or you can wait until you're at the end and add it. Okay, so we're gonna add it at the end, but you have a choice. All right. Make sure that the, the potato is nicely blended. Kanaya is going to be mashing the butternut squash. Keep going, Kanaya. Mash, mash. Good. Make sure everything is nicely blended up there. All right, I think this is good. Ready? Good. So we have our butternut squash ready. You see the consistency of the butternut squash? Mm -hmm. And then we have the consistency of the potato, right? So what we're going to do now, we're going to take our butternut squash and we're going to put it in here. Remember, we want to make this nice and healthy for the kids. Kanaya, can you pour this over here? Put that in. Yeah, in there. Put it on. Good. Wonderful. In addition to the butternut squash and the broccoli, we have some sweet peppers here, and we're gonna pour this all in. Josh, you take both of these, and I want you to start mixing. Mixing here, go from the bottom, and you come up to the top, right? We wanna make sure everything is blended in. Go ahead. I want to put you a little more in the middle so we can see what you're doing. Mix it all up. While Josh is mixing that up, we're going to put our cheese paste in. This is our almond cheese paste. Let me help you there, Josh. See the consistency of the cheese? So we're going to add that in. You keep on mixing, Josh. Keep on mixing. Keep on mixing. Go from the bottom right up to the top. Can I come on the other side, please? So that you can have room to mix. Keep on mixing, Josh. Go from the bottom all the way up to the top. right now you're going to put in now you're going to put in your potato the potato is going to be the one to help it to blend well go ahead Josh I'm gonna add a little bit of onion powder keep on mixing now we're going to add our celery cream of celery Keep on mixing. We are making this nice and healthy for the kids. Keep mixing from the bottom. Then we're gonna add our cream of mushroom. Keep 
Keep on mixing. Can I? Let me hold this over here. Mix everything up. See, we are doing from the bottom, come all the way up to the top. Take your time. We're not rushing. Now you're going to put your, this is plant-based vegan cheese, plant-based cheese. So we're going to add our cheese. Give me a minute, Josh, so we can pour the cheese on. Mix from the bottom, coming all the way to the top. I'm going to help you in a minute. Can I, you're going to get a chance to mix too. All right. You want to make sure everything is properly blended in, okay? This is some more cheese we're putting. Blend everything up. All right, let me use one. You mix on that side and I'll mix on that side. Now that this is fully blended, we'll have our tray ready. So we're gonna spray the tray with some canola spray or you can use olive oil as well. Now, one of the things you can do, you can put parchment paper in the dish as well, but you don't have to. So now you're gonna help me to put this in. Let me do this, make it a little easier for us. Come, I'm gonna hold it here. You're gonna dip it out. You dip it out. Josh, can you hold the bowl for me? All right, good, thank you. Lean it down a little more so we can get everything out. Good. Thank you. You can put that in the sink. So here we have our macaroni ready to go. In the meantime, you need to heat your oven to 350 to 400 degrees, and then you're going to bake this for about 40 minutes. And put this in the sink, thank you. Now, to top it off, you can put some of your, cheese, your nutritional yeast to the top. And then we're ready to go.